What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today is Friday and it is really nice outside so we wanted to go for a walk and then we're gonna go pick up the mail. But we came to the little park by our house just to hang out. So Liam is over there. Por ahí está el plebe con las chanclonas. And Bernardo playing soccer with him. And then Haya just enjoying the there's Hyatt. So I just wanted to do my makeup today and my hair a little bit because um, I don't know about you guys and I'm pretty sure I had mentioned it in the blog. I play soccer. You're playing soccer? Yeah, with Papi. Yeah. yeah. In the vlog before that sometimes can you stop moving my hand? Sometimes when you're feeling like down and out and you do your like hair or makeup, it kind of like gets you out of a little funk. So that's how we felt today. And um, yeah, and then we also wanted to talk about finances, which Bernardo and I will do um, in this video. Um, we thought it would be a good relatable video for everybody else. And not only is it, um, I don't know how to say this. Can you, sh boy, if you don't. Tiene una tos maciza ese perro. Which FYI, I knew dogs would get sick and stuff, but I remember my Jasmine telling me that she had like cough syrup and all kinds of stuff for her dog. I was like, whoa. But anyway, what I was saying is, um, we're gonna we're gonna film a finance video, um, and this is just our personal preference, what we think, um, and what has worked for us. So, yeah. Kyle is literally living his best life right now. And you guys, we had um, told you guys in our last video that we had uh, used a callus remover from Amazon and I think we went to ham on our uh, heels. So, nos están doliendo a little bit. But it's cool. It got rid of the dead skin. So, I just have like a little dulcecito here. You want to see my... You guys want to see my soccer skills? Okay, Cristiano Ronaldo. Check it out. <laughs> yes, you do. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh my god, I hate mosquitoes. Hi, it looks like he's just like a little like wilderness okay, baby. Guys. I never really played soccer in my life. Actually, I did play when I was small. I did. But and then I quit because I got hurt on my shins and it hurt really bad. I've always liked to actually play it, like for fun. Yep. Really Hi, there he goes, eating. Where's the soccer ball? The greens, right here. It's right there. Okay, you ready? Wait, I'm gonna eat it. So we definitely should have put chunk. I mean, shoes on you, cause four feet of yours. What do you? Can I help you? I'm getting sick. I'm getting You're getting achatuo. Look at him. So Liam talked to his teacher today. Mira. Liam talked to you. Talked to who? Miss Royer. Do you miss her? What and all your say? friends? Huh? What did she say? Mm, he loves me. She, she loves, loves you? you. Yeah. And then, and he loves me. I want to play with Miss Royer too. He wants to see me jump like a black flip. A black flip? She told you she wants to see me. I love that you're just playing it off and you just grab the... Look at this. Of course. That's that. That's puppies. But that's Liam. And hey, Hyde over there just eating greens. Hi. Hey. No, Ben. Solo tiene que dar poquito solecito porque está muy pálido. And you guys, he has a really big chichon on his. Venga, ti, mi amor. Venga, ti, venga, ti, venga, ti. On his hand because of the un santo fregazo. Hi, Horus. Right there. Ouch. Entre más lo cuidan a uno, más te da fregazos. Yeah. This wagon's always been 
up looking out for us, huh? Yeah, so this wagon, my um, suegro got for Liam when he was small. And it's cool because now we're using it for high end. Actually, uh, for both. And Liam. Amazon. <gasps> Amazon, we love you. The real you. heroes. The real heroes. <laughs> but yeah, do you want to hold it? Should we get into our vid? Or vid? And if you guys have any other like topics you guys could relate to or like would like us to talk about, let us know. But honestly, like I've been wanting to talk about finances for a while. Um, I feel like a lot of people can relate with that video because, you know. It's just like real life. Yeah, it's real adulting. And, um, this fool. And I feel like I, I wish I could have had... Here, sit down. Let's go ahead and discuss this. Since I look at this can. Literally, you guys, n like, if you are eating anything in front of him, he will take it away from you. And especially when I'm about to eat, eat a. Give him a little bite. Here, I'm gonna get snacks. Come in here. Then, mira. Ooh. But yeah, guys. So like we were saying, um. I, I feel like this is a really great video just because I know for myself and I know a lot can, can relate uh, but when we were younger you know like we were just reckless and we had our jobs and we just didn't care about savings I, I know did I, I, well yeah you did but like I feel like for me because when I started working like it was a we started working late yeah so I felt like I wanted to enjoy this is, this everything is that I had so I went all out and um, my budgeting and all that wasn't all there to be honest but I, I wish I had someone I got him to budget yeah so honestly my my parents okay so I guess we'll just go ahead and jump right in so my parents have always taught us the so there's the chiquitos siempre nos enseñaron the value of a dollar so we were never rich we never had anything handed to us um, the only thing is my dad always taught us how to work hard and if you wanted something you could work 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 and you could get it um, my parents are like blue-collar workers so they're labor workers they you know like get up they do physical well especially my dad my dad does physical labor my mom's worked at a school um, since I was a kid so yeah and then I have two older brothers my older brother I feel like I even both of them but Omar he like I feel like everything he did I wanted to do <laughs> just me being a girl so we've always worked uh, me and my brother Al worked since we were 16 and we've always um, we, we didn't have to we didn't have to work we just worked because we wanted to we get animals mass and yeah and just to have your own money and I didn't want to have to ask my parents for anything. My parents always gave me everything I needed. Just that, si quería algo extra, I bought it on my own. Um, but yeah, I started to save. I I would say when I got my first real, real job, which was at the bank. And working at the bank really taught me a lot about finances and how to handle my money. So I feel like that honestly helped me build my credit and that taught me that i knew i wanted to buy a house etc uh, so yeah that's just kind of like a little bit of the background and i obviously helped bernardo um, obviously yeah well because i worked at a bank and i no yeah yeah i was, i um yeah. helped you remember the credit card I, yeah like, yeah you know like I just feel like everything yeah. was just so and know. you know people like no hay, no hay solamente una manera to teach your kids about finances because it's a lot I feel but it helps when you have siblings older siblings can you can yeah you that's run? the thing is that you know when you're the oldest and I'm sure all you old siblings can relate all you to old this siblings? older siblings can relate to this is that um, you know we it's kind of like a trial and error for us and then you're responsible kind yeah. of for helping the younger ones do better so, than you yeah so that's just a little bit about us um regarding like our background and stuff so everything we have we had we did have to work for 
um so we'll go ahead and we wrote some things down just so we could make sure we have key points but this is you guys our input on finances Mom's so getting a little sore to be honest you want me to grab it no i will gonna okay. i rotate alternate okay alternate. let me just fix my hair sure so who is in charge of finances so you guys i am in charge of finances yeah. bernardo um is good with money yeah. just that i feel like you're just too nice and if you have money in your pocket to rascara. i feel like if i really want it and i can afford it i'll just go get it yeah so i am too i'm all about like gustos and stuff but i am in charge of finances um i just feel like i'm just too i'm just more loose than she is yeah so that was that um do we have a savings account yes we do have a savings account so what we would recommend i think we both could agree is that you need obviously your checking account to do your everyday transactions and then you need a savings account that savings account needs to be used for saving okay so of course emergencies happen things happen your ac breaks which has happened to us yeah. your car breaks down lo que sea that's when you that's pull that when one. you pull out of your savings and if you don't have it on if, your checkings. Yeah, if you don't have it in your checkings. Um, or, you know, in otras partes, under your couch, under your mattress. Um, I would say that uh, for a while we had our savings account at a different bank. Um, because yeah. honestly, it was just better for us to forget about it. Like to not even see it, to not think about it. Because then if you don't even know the money's there, you won't even try to take it out. You'll be like, oh dang, I have that much money in my account. Um, so I feel like that worked better for us. But the reason why we ended up going just to one bank was because remember we had the house. It's just, at the end of the day, we just kind of looked at it like convenience. Like mm -hmm. we had the house, we had our checking. We had the house with one company. We had our checking and regular savings with another one. Yeah, it was just too all over the place and too many apps on our phones. Yeah. So now we have our regular checking. So we do have joint accounts. So actually, we've always had one joint account. Yeah. Yeah. Or, so I mean, I feel like we've, we've all like obviously at the beginning, you know, you have your own stuff, checkings. And, I had my own. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we were just responsible. We had, and then actually we shared our savings account, right? Yeah, that was like the savings account where we put stuff that was like together so like if we got taxes back or if we owed taxes or anything we would do that but um he had his own checking and savings and i had my own checking and savings um and then not long ago but obviously we would still share the bills he would pay some i would pay some um then we were just like okay let's just merge everything together to try to get rid that was in that moment when we were like okay we have too many accounts everywhere yeah so we just have a checking and a savings uh, what well, a checking a savings and another savings <laughs> <laughs> so we have a checking account a savings account because at our bank you have to have a savings account with that specific institution and then we have just another savings just because so we use one of the savings for the kids so if the kids get birthday money anything like that i put it in that account um separate from ours so we don't ever touch it yeah. unless because it's solely for them so and i would feel guilty we yeah, would yeah. both feel guilty we spending their like, money it's like so if for example, if need, like if they need shoes or like Liam just recently he just bought himself shoes so I would never spend my kids money and I feel like I have too much of a guilty conscience to do anything like that so that's their account um, pretty much and then we have the savings account that we're talking about so um, and you guys um, back to like um, the whole like having joint account I feel like that's more of like when you live together obviously you know it's like if if you and your girlfriend at the time are not living together you guys are not sharing bills or splitting up the bills like obviously you know a joint account or a joint account wouldn't be um i guess too ideal, ideal for you guys again it's whatever basis you're kind of like. you know but we would say when you're living together splitting bills that's probably a time where you're like okay let's share yeah i feel like it's, it's a must i feel like at that point or i mean it just again it all depends on the scenario it all depends on you know your relationship with this per person so if you guys just started obviously yeah, yeah. But, but if you're living together paying bills half and half we do recommend you yeah. guys get 
an account yeah. together. Um, managing our spending. So Bernardo and I pay our bills on time all the time. We always, always, always pay our bills and then nos damos nuestros gustos. So I don't think we've ever... Si acaso, this is being honest, si acaso se nos olvida. Sometimes, you know, we'll forget that we have the pinned bill on the thing and it's like the water bill and we're like, shit, you know? But we always, always, always pay all of our bills before we buy ourselves whatever it is. So, cosas del gusto. Um, and then we treat ourselves. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? I think he's pooping. Yeah, he's probably pooping. Yeah. So, that's what we do. We pay yeah. bills and then we treat ourselves. Do you have to poop? No, I need to. I want to go to the bedroom. Yeah, do you need to pee or poop? You can't pee. You can't poop here. You guys. I want to go to the bathroom. There's no restroom here, Liam. Huh? There's you need no to go restrooms. pee? There's no restroom yeah, to, to go, go pee. Home. Do you need to go poop or do you need to pee? Is there a bathroom in your house? <laughs> yeah, there's a restroom in our house. Or... Go run. Forget about it. Run, 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 run. But why? <laughs> but why? Oh my god, you guys. He just peed like when we before we came, so... So I don't know if he's just because he's just okay. He's running. Okay, the next time he tells us, we'll go. Um, so how many accounts do you think we need? So we said checking and saving. Um, did we? Oh yeah, you we just left off on um, how do we spend our money. Yeah. So and always just, bills. Yeah, and then, so uh, checking and the savings. We had said that is what we recommend. Um, Okay, now debt. What do you have to say about that? But to do what? We need a pee. The you need a pee? No. Okay, you guys. Right, it looks guys. like we're gonna finish this video off at home. Yep. Okay. False. False alarm. He actually, he's just being a clown. Um, so, um, um, what so do we, we think left about that? On debt. Okay, so debt. I feel like, I feel like 99% of the people have debt. Uh, so I feel like that's kind of. Like, I feel like everyone's so scared of the word debt. And, I feel like there's good and bad. Yeah, debt. there's good and bad. Obviously, you know. Um, I guess a little background on with me. Um, when I first start, when I first started working, and April started working at the bank, um, and I'm gonna, this kind of falls into like credit too, right? Um, we'll talk about credit. Right okay, now. so never mind. Um, so debt. I feel like um, with debt, if you have the money to pay it back, um, I recommend you not getting a loan. I, I recommend you not getting. Um, you know credit as far as like any anywhere just because I feel like that's just gonna dig yourself you're just gonna dig yourself into a big hole that you eventually might not be able to climb out out of you know what I mean so uh, me personally um, I feel like um, if I had the choice to redo like the like my like the years of my life I would rec uh, like I would uh, go back and just be like I don't want no credit cards. But so since I worked at a bank, how we started building our credit and what worked for me and what made you know this may not know. work for other people. The easiest way for me to build my credit was with a credit card. So I remember getting a credit card, my credit score, you know, and what I would do with that credit card is I would pay gas or. Me daba mis gustos, little things like that, and I would pay it off every month. So that's a line of credit. You know, any kind of line of credit. Something that you borrow and pay back. So, um, I always paid my credit cards back, and I think I've always had like maybe one or two. Uh, but yeah. No. But yeah, you guys, that helps me build my credit card. <laughs> build my credit. <laughs> Believe it or not, run fast, fast. Go, go. 
a credit card helped build my credit up i have a really good credit score even till this day and we were able to buy our house so that's pretty much what i did with bernardo i was able to get go fast i was able to get bernardo the same thing the same credit card that my institution was offering and the same thing he was doing the same um yeah i feel like it helped me so much and it does like it it's just, a very easy way cada quien, you guys like we said just, I but feel i feel like, like you need to know how to use it exactly like not, not abuse it you because I mean? you could be one of those people that actually gets a credit card and goes into super debt and credit cards have really high interest payments you guys and i know like many people don't know that but they charge an arm and a leg so that's where you could get screwed in the end so right now i only have one credit card and yeah this credit card i use when i was in school so sometimes we didn't have enough money for groceries or i had to pay a bill or things like that so of course that's debt that i kind of couldn't avoid you know and you know like he has his credit card and i feel like you know that's what we're doing right now we went into 2020 saying we were going to pay off our debt so that's what we're doing and i feel like we have a pretty good um control structure yeah structure on how as, like when we actually need to use it and then also like how we're paying it off, it off. And, I, and, and this is you guys and we're talking about like it's not even like our day it's like not even yeah like if we wanted much. to we could probably pay it off you know yeah. quicker than we can but we also have other expenses that we have so we have our house so we were able to buy our house um in 2014 um which was a big accomplishment and that is a like a big huge line of credit and i feel like remember when we first got it we even contemplated it a little bit we're like shit like this is yeah. freaking hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt you know but that's yeah. one debt that i will never regret regret yeah and that's that's what i was going to say that that you know people i feel like nowadays maybe not much now but before people were so scared or might maybe even yeah now. i feel like i feel like people, like people are, are so scared and so afraid of the commitment i feel like because that's a 30 year um, loan that's crazy but at the end of the day it's like dude that's the real estate is where it's at like as far as investment like look look at us now like 2014 right like back then we were kids like when we were young you know and it's like we didn't know where this was gonna take us and now we look back and i'm like oh my god i can't believe like we were actually were doubting and i can't believe that like then we were like dang we should have got a bigger house. yeah like now we're like damn we should have got a bigger house because right now it would have been four quadruple the the valley you know it's like and the house now our house like you guys it almost tripled the value yeah Double you guys like you really have to risk it to get the biscuit yeah and you know like we said it's it's scary we contemplated like when I, we were signing we we're like holy shoot you know and i really have to give a big shout out to my family and bernardo's family and my brothers because they helped us a lot throughout the process whether it was um my parents you know helping us with having the car under their name and we would pay insurance or anything anything nos ayudamos, nos ayudamos with the phone bill yeah. or just you know anything like my brother telling us hey i don't think you should do this i don't think you should do just that. advice just and little things like that to support us mm -hmm. i feel so like we're super thing. thankful um but again now on this other topic about debt is if you absolutely don't need it for example like we have my car is paid off and his truck is not so which now like i I don't know how to say it like i would love to pay that's one thing that i want to do you know as soon as we're able to is pay off the truck because i'm just i just don't like having the only debt that i want to have is our our house yeah yeah and you know sometimes it's inevitable you guys like sometimes you can't afford to buy a car cash but if you have the opportunity like if you're living at home or whatever the case is and you have the opportunity to save i would save up your coins especially and then for you for you youngsters cash. like you you young people that that you know that have the i guess i want to say the opportunity the opportunity but not only that but it's like the what's the word i'm trying to say the, I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on the So just like, like if you're, actually have an opportunity yeah. to live with your parents, and you have no bills. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, I mean, you might help your parents here and there, but 
like you have no uh, no big bills like you know mortgage rent water bill you know stuff like that like take the opportunity like if you get a loan for a car pay that down like you guys like pay it down or even where, if you have credit cards you yeah, know, like oh yeah, pay yeah. that off. Pay that off. Pay that way you only debt have, you have that off. that debt, you know, because that's the biggest debt currently at your at your point of your life. You know, it's like when you get when you get a home, it's like all right, now you get a, a home and and a car. No, I feel like the car note, like making monthly payments, is just kind of like a like a uh, like a burden. Yeah, because it's like now like back to what you were saying like now I, I i look and i'm just like man i shouldn't have gotten it just because i hate paying the monthly yeah payments, and it you know? sucks having to like just pay every month yeah. but like i said sometimes you have to do what you gotta do but if you do have the opportunity we would encourage you to buy everything cash and it's actually and our, our first loan yeah too, a car loan. yeah it's our everything. first car loan everything else we've had paid cash. cash um we oh and then just so you guys know you guys unless so your mortgage your car your all of that all of all of like lines of credit credit cards they have interest you guys so let's say your payment is five hundred dollars that five hundred dollars will not go to the principal of the loan meaning the total value let's say you have a thirty thousand dollar car the five hundred dollar payment will not go to the principal part of that is giving some so some of that payment if you see like a broken down uh, a breakdown of the payment it'll show what's going to the principal what's going to the interest and the interest is pretty much to the bank saying hey thanks for helping me out with the loan yeah um also Principles if you have like this yeah yes so if you have a 500 dollars payment your 500 dollars payment is not going directly towards your principal but again this is just common sense yeah. i'm sure everyone knows so um and then also uh what else oh, i had a brain fart but I mean, as far as like debt, I feel like we've covered it all. Yeah. In general. So try to consolidate your debt, you guys. Try to pay right. off as much as you can. The opportunity. It's okay to have a little caracacha at first, and then slowly build yourself up to a Mercedes. It's because you gotta, you gotta goal. struggle. You know, you gotta struggle at first. What kind of car did you have first? At first, I had that 1994 Chevy Cavalier. That was his and, first and car. I love that car, and it was like a, a family. You know, it was my uncle, so. And we got it super cheap, and and you know I'm, I feel like for us, all our cars we've well like for me like the cars that I've had, I feel like we me you know we've paid cash we've yeah yeah every single car that Bernardo has had, I was um, blessed enough for my dad to buy me a car for my 15th birthday, um, and it was a pretty brand new car, and I went through a few cars actually because they had sold my car to make more money off of it and stuff like that so i am very thankful for that but i'm also um like i said you guys no lo tomo um like oh you're spoiled no you know like i feel like my parents in it you know i could get into another topic but just for both of us our parents didn't have anything when they grew up my dad had to work when he was eight years old and he never had a bike he was never able to play because he was too busy working my mom had to be a mom at 15 to all her brothers and sisters so i feel like the satisfaction for my my dad especially was for us to have what he didn't have and for my mom um i feel like it's the same thing but my mom was definitely not as like thin 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 like my dad but they did uh, teach us the value of a dollar. I was never able to just go up to my mom and be like, dame 100 dollars. No. I was spoiled, yes, but I I think that was a lot I feel to like do with my dad, were, and I was the only girl. And, then you, you and I was good, I was know? a pretty good kid. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we never caused my parents trouble. Yeah, we would have little things, you know, here and there, but nothing crazy. Um, oh, the so another way to save you guys is having automatic deposits from your check. So we have like an automatic deposit going into our savings. What? All right, you guys. He, he has an advice on how to save. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so you guys, we have an automatic uh, deposit into our savings account. Yeah, do you know that? Can you? It's like if the money isn't like you don't have to go in and actually do it, you know. Yeah, so like it's like it just happened. E, you won't even remember that happened. So it's a nice way to save without having to go in there and manually be like, oh, I'm transferring a hundred dollars from my checking to my savings. Right and you could do whatever you're comfortable with so if you have the opportunity to be like you know what i'm gonna do 500 
do that. Um, um, and then this is a good one. So sometimes there's times where in a month we get like three checks. Remember? Oh yeah. yeah. There's times where you get three checks in yeah. a month or whatever the case is. You guys, if you can save a check. So if we get an opportunity and we've paid all of our bills, y nos hemos dado nuestros gustos, we will save, you know, a check. A couple and, of check and a half. Yeah. yeah. So I. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, right now. So save and put aside as much as you can. I honestly, realistically, I would recommend everybody to have at least five to ten thousand dollars of safety money in their account because you guys, you never know what ha what'll happen. You never know. You just never know. And I feel like if you have five to ten thousand dollars, that's just realistic. Yeah, I feel like realistic nowadays, to yeah, have. Yeah. Um, because it's like your car breaks down. Like, what are you gonna do? That's no. at least three thousand. I mean, if you get a, a, you know, a good running car, it's at least three to four grand. So just, just save you guys. Like honestly, like you have all these millionaires that dress, like they're just normal people, and then you have the other people that dress like millionaires and they don't have anything. And don't let you guys. I know it's so hard to feel like pressure as far as you know, like. Oh, you know, this person bought a house when they were 20. I need to buy a house when I'm 20 or I need to have $20,000. I need to start a business. Everybody's timing is different. And honestly, you can. Whatever you want to do in life, whatever you, you know, want to accomplish, you could do it. Don't ever doubt yourself. Use that, definitely... use that though as a motivation, you know, yes. instead of a, a hunger. Well, hunger is motivation. Like, I mean, like, you know, just don't. If you see it, oh, you want to go do it. You know what I mean? Like, just use that as a motivation. And I feel like uh, the problem nowadays, and I'm just going to be honest, I feel like everyone's, everyone wants to get it. Everyone wants something, but they're not willing to give. You Work know what for I mean? it. Like, like, everyone wants a Camaro. Everyone wants a 2020 Silverado. But yet, you know, you don't give your 100% to actually, I don't know, maybe earn it or... Not only that, but, you know, just, like, I just feel like at the end of the day, if you can sleep well at night saying, like, hey, like, my bills are paid, this is done, this is done, and I feel good about my purchases or feel good about, you know, not having debt or not having that or whatever the case may be, like, I feel like that is the best sleep you ever have, like, vice or versus to, like, you going to sleep and you're just like, dude, like, God, like, I, why should, why did I get this truck or why did I get this car? You know, I can't afford it. And if you have like siblings, if you have people that you could look up to, you know, like just ask questions, you guys. Like I feel like I feel like anytime anybody like, you know, like I feel like me and Bernardo are just honest, you know, and we say it like it is. And like I said, like my brother my brothers, you know, Omar, um, especially you know helped me a lot to understand like finances and you know to this day now we actually have the opportunity to help you right. know like our parents so right. there's things that we do and uh, you know we don't want to get too personal but there's things that we're able to do for our parents and you know to kind of just give them a little thank you like for what you've given what you've me given or... me yeah um so it's just nice to be able to do that and i feel like for both of us like one of our lifelong goals is to be able to just like pay it forward to our parents in some specific way yeah that's always been our our like our thing where we're always like telling each other like you know one day hopefully soon you know we'll be able to pay off their their house or buy them a new house or a car whatever the case may be it doesn't even have to be material you know uh, like i feel like just giving them i don't know if just the, I feel like them. them seeing us happy and okay yeah. is enough for them. Yeah. But you guys, um, I also wanted to say, you know, just because somebody looks like they have it all, you just never know, um, you know, what's going on behind closed doors. So don't assume that somebody that has a Gucci milli belt yeah, and, and has this persona yeah, of, of is being... as good as they look. You know, right. a lot of people, and it is what it is, you know, like a lot of people just put up a front and yeah crazy but that's just real life and you know we again we wanted to make this video just just for it relatable. to be relatable you know just because i'm sure there's people out there that 
that don't have siblings or don't have older siblings where to look up to yeah or where they can oh. get advice or they're you know they're not close to their fa their family and whatnot you know so we're just here to give advice and again we're this is our life this is how we handled it this is how, what we did you know in, in certain situations so and it worked for us so hopefully exactly. it could work for you if you guys have any questions any questions dm us on social media like honestly i feel like we just i love and i think you as well um like i love helping people like i just i just love helping people i love being able to like i don't know just yeah, spread positivity i'm the same way it's just i'm more quiet so um that's probably why it doesn't yeah. look like i'm out there so much but i feel like you finita. know even even you know friends and even my siblings you know can can vouch and say you know i've always been there for them you know whatever the case may be bad good i'm always giving them good advice and i'm always and you guys just don't real, take yeah like real. yeah and you know like when somebody tells you something and you're just like oh you're telling me again to do this, you know like it could be a blessing in disguise you know a lot of people like we said don't have family like this that's you know willing to be like hey dude what the hell are you doing or whatever the case is i did also want to say when you're starting up your credit um you guys which in in the united states you guys credit is everything yeah. so no matter how much money you got under that couch that mattress if you don't have credit you ain't gonna know where uh -huh. son so just protect your credit take care of your credit there's three credit bureaus experian equifax and transunion be careful liam be careful <laughs> and transunion you guys he has a leaf on his mouth Take yeah it's okay. It's, oh, okay he's organic <laughs> um so those are credit bureaus that you're able to like check your credit on you guys anytime you pull your credit that is a credit inquiry it can vary as far as like how big the pool is um but um yeah if Actually, you're gonna get a line it? if you're gonna get lines of credit you guys also i did want to make sure you guys know just because you're getting something by credit does not mean that they report to the credit bureau that you are making payments every month for example phone store, bills store credit. yeah like a lot of people are like oh curacao or this or yeah. that you know like yeah. make sure that they report to the credit bureau you know that every month you're making the payment because there's a lot of places like phone company co phone companies and stores that only report if you're delinquent right. again delinquent so that is not doing anything for your credit unless you are not paying that so yeah i mean it may show that you got a, a line of a credit line of credit but it's you know it's not really going to help your credit. you need something that is going to report every single month saying that you're pretty much paying it what your debt to income there's a lot of things if you guys want like more in debt or what we did to save up for a house things like that let us know um but i think me and bernardo could both st um stand behind buy a house you guys um if you can i feel like that's if you have the opportunity buy a house you guys yes. we'll at my brother here his phone number so you could reach out to him um because when you're renting you guys you're just throwing your money away you're giving it to the at renter at the end of the day it is you know and it's uh, i mean regardless if you like it or yeah. not it's like that's that's just the real thing you know it's like you're, it's not your home you know temporarily it is but at the end of the day you know the the renter the could renter kick you out kick you the out tenant or, or no tenant right no the rent the owner of the home could kick you out whenever he wants um so yeah if you have the opportunity or just even look into it if it's something for you not everybody again situation by situation is able to buy a house for many different reasons but if um, you are if you are in an opportunity where you can you can don't be scared like like we were yeah we were <laughs> scared but you know we we went with our gut instinct and did we that just leap did and it. yeah we just did it and i feel like like i would never regret that that would be one one of the things that i would never regret in my life is is doing that purchase you know and back it's then it's the scariest moment yeah, but it's, it's very scary but compelling. recommend you to if you have opportunity go ahead and do it because uh, at the end of the day you know a couple of years from from that time you're gonna, you're gonna look like, back and you're gonna be like oh you know like i'm so glad dejalo, i did dejalo, it because dejalo. you know it's dejalo. it's it's money back in your pocket you know what i mean so but yeah so you guys our kids are getting crazy so that's kind of a little bit of credit and money budgeting 
I know we're a little shop. all over the place, but again, it was just a little quick video uh, that we thought that it was going to be very helpful uh, and very relatable video. So um, again, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to go in uh, more uh, and more into depth any with any of the topics yeah, with, buying with house any cars topics. anything like that I did work at a bank I didn't become a banker because I was in nursing school <laughs> I was gonna get into nursing school so I do know a thing or two I don't know everything but life experiences have happened with us so we know all well, one two three things you know what I'm saying so we hope you guys enjoyed this video again you guys this is just what works for us and so don't come at us. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So that don't be like high and cry about it. Uh, but we appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure yes. you make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on our next video. Go buy me a Gucci bag. <laughs> no, 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 I'm doing it. Oh, you wanna do it? Okay, wait. Say like. Share. Like. Share. No, say like. Like. Share. And subscribe and see you guys next time on our next video.